we have a segment coming up on Crow Creek Golf Course in Calabash, but there was so much more to cover, so we spent more time with Director of Golf, Mike Benson. John asked him about the big changes on the course, along with joining the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail, as well as how the area is booming and its effect on local golfers. Course is looking really good, especially for this time of year. Tell me what you guys have been doing out here. Golf course is in great shape. Uh, the fairways and fairways tees, all Bermuda green. So during this time of year, it's eating up the sun, loving life. Our greens are bent grass, so we do have a little challenge keeping them alive. One of the last courses in the Grand Strand to have bent grass greens. Uh, our superintendent's been here since 2000, since they opened the golf course. So he has a uh, he has a great knowledge in how to keep these things surviving and th actually thriving through the through the heat of the summer. Um, he's got a good watering maintenance watering program on him. Uh, keeps them healthy all day uh, all day long. So you guys actually closed down uh, two years ago. And that, you know, even though a lot of people are like, oh, I wonder what's going on here. It turned out to be a great move for you It guys. was a great move. They, uh, they, re they took out the old bent that was there. We had L93 bent grass on the greens back uh, when we opened. They took that out, put in a V8 strain of bent grass. A uh, little, little more heat resistant, a little more tolerable to ball marks. Um, and recontoured some of the greens. So when you get out there, you'll see some, uh, some interesting contours on some of, the, some of the greens out there. You guys looking forward to, uh, to the fall season? Talk we about, are. Talk about how you're ready for that. Fall has been uh, fall's a great season down here on the Grand Strand. The, the heat breaks, the temperatures are fantastic, lower humidity, golf courses are in great shape. Uh, we always look forward to getting our fall, fall golfers coming down to see the golf course at that time of year. You just, it's a, to me, it's a, it, could, it can't be a better day to go out and play, play golf in the morning on a Sunday and then go home and watch, uh, watch a football game. So it's my favorite time of year down here. Talk about being part of the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail, how that's been helpful to you guys. That's an exciting new concept that uh, came about this year. Uh, we've, uh, we've been a part of the East Coast Golf Management, and when we rolled out this Myrtle Beach Golf Trail, I think it really uh, it elevates the brand. I think we, uh, we actually have a, now we can market to consumers, hey, this is, this is a great trail of golf courses to play. You can play this one, this one, and this one. Uh, being, being a part of it and being one of the, the premier courses on the trail, I think is going to be a real exciting time for us here at Crow Creek. All right. Uh, just real quickly, kind of on, on the business of golf around here. Um, what I'm noticing is um, the visitor volume seems to be down a little bit, but it seems to be there's so many more people that are moving in here and playing golf. Would you would you assess it that way too? Sure. I think Brunswick County and Horry County are two of the largest growing counties in, in the nation right now. So I think what we're seeing is a lot of people that used to come down and, and vacation on, on the Grand Strand are actually now love it so much and they're buying homes here, which is a, it's a great problem to have. We have plenty of golf courses. We have plenty of space to have them here. So come on down. We'll, uh, we'll make you a regular here at Crow Creek. <laughs> 